All right, what's happening, guys? Your boy Chairman Taylor 007, and today I'm bringing you a new game. It's called World Domination. Now, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Unfortunately, not all of you can get it because you do need a code to get it. But if you want to hit up World Domination on their website, they'll try their best to get you a code. And believe me, if you get one, it's a lot of fun. So I've been playing this for a few days now, about three, and I'm automatically addicted. Now, I'm going to be showing this game on my channel. Now, some of you might not like it. I mean, I get that when I first started watching uh, Teach Boom Beach play his Boom Beach videos until I actually got it for myself. It wasn't the most fun to watch. So some this might not be for some of you, but for others of you, I hope you enjoy this because this is a lot of fun gameplay. And it'll teach you a little bit for when you actually do get the game. So you'll be used to it by then. And hopefully this will give you a head start over people who don't know how to play it off the bat. Alright, so I just got a new place to defend. It's Mexico City. And this base, I mean, this game, it's pretty much set up like a globe. So it's unlike your map on Clash... Whoa, I don't know what that was. Um, it's unlike your map on Boom... Well, it's kind of like your map on Boom Beach, but it's unlike in Clash of Clans where you just search for random people. Um, on this, you defend like different bases. You're constantly defending. You can choose to be either survivors or zombies. I prefer the survivors. I think it's a little bit more fun. But I'll show you here in a second. What you're doing is you're trying to protect a hospital. And that's your main objective for the game. And here's the hospital here. And there's different zombie so spawn locations. These pink pads right here, those are where your zombies are going to come from. So... I need to be able to keep them from getting to this hospital. Now, I'm trying to think of the best way to do that. I brought some troops with me that I think can help. I got some meat shields. I also got some attackers, so we should be able to do this. All right, so I'm going to put my sniper down here. And you normally want to have a sniper by your hospital, but that way it can pick off your giants and stuff like that. But on here, I'm going to place a lot of meat shields so I'm going to place the firemen because those act as meat shields I'm also going to place a surgeon because that'll help revive them All right so I am going to place a lumberjack down there also to help attack and when it start I'm actually going to go ahead and move them over here now to help protect that hospital okay over here I'm going to place some more attackers that way they'll get some range but I'm also going to put a meat shield just to help out hopefully they can reach over here all right, and behind this barricade, I'm going to put a couple of meat shields, some lumberjacks, and some more range shooters. All right, so I'm going to save the rest of the troops I have for when this starts, but this is good enough for now. All right, so zombies are going to spawn, and one thing you can do, you can speed it up, but I'm going to keep it at normal speed so you can see all the graphics of this game. I like how the zombies, like, explode and shoot out, like, pus and stuff like that. I think that's really cool, the gra how they made the graphics for this game. I'm actually going to move these guys up a little bit. That way they can help take them out before... Actually, let's move them, yeah, right there, so they can get to them before they break through that barricade. Okay, so I really like the barricades in this game too. The only thing I wish is that you can maybe move the barricades a little bit, but other than that, I really like it. If you've played zombies like on Call of Duty and stuff like that, you know what the barricades are like from that, and it's kind of similar in this game. So as you can see, those yellow dots are going down. So I'm missing a person on this pad. I'm going to go ahead and throw one down there. Maybe I didn't need to, maybe I did. But I think I'm doing all right so far. I'm on wave two already. So we're looking pretty good. I think I'll be able to beat this, but we're losing a lot here. And I don't know what that was. Maybe something like exploded my troops or something. I wasn't paying attention, but we're fine. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to worry about these over here because they're sitting pretty close to my hospital. And I don't want anything to happen like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys over so they can get more attacks on these. And I'm going to move my attackers back. That way my meat shield's a little bit in front. Okay, actually, there's a lot of guys coming over this way. So I need to be more active over there. Oh my gosh, you can see how crazy this game gets sometimes. I mean, it's an epic game, though. I love it so much. I'm just going to throw all my guys down there to hopefully distract. Throw someone on the pad there. Okay, so we're doing all right. Zombies haven't really hit my headquarters. I mean, my um, my hospital yet. You can kind of think of it like a headquarters or a town hall, because that's what they their main objective is. But I'm gonna. Th but they're 
Um, just this spawn is coming, so I'm going to fill up this pad with whatever I have left, and we should be good, because it takes them about 30 seconds, unless there's like a whole horde of them, but we should be able to kill enough of them off in order to prevent them from taking out my hospital. Alright, these giants are just so cool too. They're the biggest zombie in the game, and I think they just look sweet. The animation they've done with this, I mean, it's so awesome. They've put so much detail into it, and I really appreciate that because not too often do you find game developers who care so much. All right, we're sitting under 30 seconds now. We should be good. All we have is that giant zombie left. He's going to explode here soon, and boom, we took it out. Took out Mexico City. You're welcome, Mexico. Wait. How do we only get two? Whatever. I don't get it. But every time you clear a map, you get another troop, and that's pretty cool because then you can use them to evolve your troops and stuff like that. I'm still learning this game a little bit, guys. You're going to sit here and learn it with me, and we're going to have a lot of fun playing this. Leave a like if you want to continue seeing some of this gameplay, and definitely comment below if you want to see it. It's not going to keep me from uploading Clash or Boom Beach or any other games that I might bring to this channel. It's just more content I can bring to you. That way I can upload more often. So I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a Clash video, so stay tuned for that, and see you guys later.